Hey y'all, we're taking a walk in the woods. Let's identify some trees, shall we? Here we got a young American elm. You can tell by the bark because it's kind of splotchy like bubbles. So it's got lots of patchy parts and then a lot of times their roots are buttressed like this where they come out because they like to live in loose soil near water. And the creek's right there. So it checks out. We got a dead white ash. You can see these lines right here are from the emerald ash borer. And so that is what has killed this tree. The bark of the white ash can look like a little square pattern. Kind of like tick, 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 lots of little squares. But then as it gets more mature, it becomes these long ridges with X's. So that's something to look for. And the leaves of the white ash, you can tell by these right here, these offshoots trying to survive. They are compound leaves with these leaflets. This is a good one to ID if you don't know many trees and it's around because it's easy to ID. This bark is really peculiar. So it's got this kind of quirky bark that's layered in these stacks. It looks real splotchy. And this is called a sugarberry or a hackberry. More mature hackberry sugarberry. Show you up close to bark. It's really distinctive. This right here is a tulip poplar. Its bark is usually a lot lighter in color, more like this usually. And these get real big. Their canopy is shaped sort of like the emoji of a tree, like the iconic tree where it's a tall trunk and it falls up. Two more tulip poplar trees right here. Here's a different one. This is a slippery elm. So it looks different from the American elm because the bark is more orderly. You can almost see these lines just going up its, but it's got buttress roots. These little spiky ones are from the sweet gum tree. So I'll see if I can find one of those. Here we got a sweet gum tree. Here's what the bark looks like. And here's a baby one. So the leaves of the sweet gum are like little stars. So that's what makes these gumballs. And did you know that sweet gum used to be used for making gum and flavoring it? Well, for flavoring gum. The flavor of gum comes from sweet gum.